Hey everyone, Anthony here. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at uh, the B token, so the future of home sharing, 0% commission decentralized home sharing network with B protocols. So, pretty much an Airbnb but in crypto or pretty much on crypto. So, about B, we are a seasoned team of former employees from Google, Facebook, Uber, and civil re imaging. The sharing economy together we are building B Nest and the B protocols on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, so B Nest, B Nest is a home sharing platform for hosts to list their homes and for guests to find accommodations. B Nest rewards users with network incentives, commission free transactions, and security unrivaled in the home sharing industry. So the B protocols, the B protocols are a set of Ethereum smart contracts providing developers the tools to rapidly launch new decentralized applications. By utilizing industry proven B protocols, developers can expect fast development cycles, reduced integration costs, and existing user base. So and the B, to the B token, the B token is the cryptocurrency that fuels the B Nest platform and the B protocols. So it's pretty cool. So they've got um to zero so like they said, zero commissions, decentralized platform eliminates the middleman. Um, align incentives, so tokens distributed through pre-sale and ICO, security, bank level security through blockchain technology, and trust transparent practices with immutable feedback. So their roadmap at the moment, obviously this is Q4 2017, so they've got their white paper complete, yes, and their private alpha test on testnet. Um, so Q1 to Q2 of 2018, so they got a BNS Alpha Live in San Francisco. Uh, launch B protocols and tests on the test net quarter three to quarter four 2018 launch B protocols on mainnet onboard two to four D apps on B protocol 2019 expand up to five US cities onboard five to ten D apps on B protocol and by 2020 plus and beyond uh, target London Korea Singapore so B tokens equals a golden standard of sharing protocols so it's pretty interesting um so obviously you can read the white paper guys i mean so this obviously this side great more information about btoken it's obviously www.btoken.com down and then get the lot the white paper so it's about 29 pages long so it's the future of decentralized sharing economy uh, i think i should read all this so powered by obviously erc20 Secure payment system that allows two authenticated peer to peer entities to send and receive money that gets held in B tokens until a successful exchange of services between the two entities. So, in other words, you're not, you're not paying with fiat, you're going to be paying with Ethereum, obviously, or you know, obviously the B token. So, that's obviously how they can get the commissions a lot cheaper than obviously Airbnb. So, this is your table of contents for your white paper. I'm not going to go through this whole white paper. Um, obviously, so what I might do, I might look for the team. So, lower transaction fees, centralized home sharing platforms rely on multiple intermediaries, intermediaries to conduct their transactions. Each intermediary <laughs> adds a cost that hosts and guests end up paying for. In these centralized platforms, transaction fees can range from 10 to 22 percent, broken down as follows. So obviously platform fees three to fifteen percent, financial institution fees three percent, foreign transaction fees three percent, currency conversion fees one percent. So I'm assuming there where is this? Let's see what they've got. So that's the fees. So they're talking a fair bit of fees there. There's obviously Airbnb. She has a huge fees as you already know, twelve percent or something. Just quickly go down and have a look. Uh, sorry guys, just quickly. No, I can't find it. That's it's on here. Pretty sure their fees. I don't know where it is actually. Go back. Where's the table? So they did it anyway, so it's like two percent. Their fees so there is fees, it's like a 2% fee instead of like a 12% or something, yeah, that's how it worked out. I'm just trying to think where it was. So 
things. I don't know. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, instead of like Airbnb, something like twelve percent or something like that, they they can do it like two percent or something. So it's already saving ten percent. Obviously, they're cutting out the middleman because there's no you're not paying a fee. Obviously, you're paying with your tokens, and that's how they're gonna cut the uh, like the fees down for it. Um, okay, we're going through the roadmap. So picture's not loading for some reason. So obviously it looks like there's no links, but there is you just click on the links. So Jonathan Chow, obviously the co-founder and CEO, the former leader Uber, security and fraud, passionate about crypto since twenty twelve. So let's we'll go to his LinkedIn profile, have a look. Always do your due diligence in every ICO. It's a co-founder, we know that. So engineer at Uber. Tech lead on fraud and machine learning, cyber security department also participated in rewriting the new Uber application entirely in Swift. Engineering Grando, engineer at Jib Jib Brothers Studios, so pretty well specialized. Johnny T Tony Tran, CEO, uh, co founder and CTO, former engineer at Uber. I'm not going to go through all these guys, I'm just going to just give you a quick run down obviously you have to do your own due diligence guys as usual organizer of san francisco bay machine learning meeting our meetup uh software engineer engineer at uber software development consultant independent contractor san francisco bay area Bozo data engineer san francisco area so that makes sense if they're launching the first uh the test in San Francisco anyway so all right so that's the team guys and the advisors are Richard Ma obviously uh, co-founder and CEO of Constant which has only just been released about a month ago another good uh, another good well it's already listed now so that's another one to watch out for obviously the other other thing with this is um, the sales will start until the 31st of January so it's heaps of time obviously they're looking at a two-week window 500 million supplier tokens, that's pretty good. Obviously, it's real estate. And the only thing I'm, I'm a bit worried, I'm not worried, but like team's good. The only thing I haven't listed their um, token price. Now, I'm assuming they're not doing that until it's closer to the start of the pre sale. So, um, yeah, I'd be. I'm not, I'm not a yeah and I'm not a no. I'm not a yes or a no on this one. It just depends. I think it's a good idea. And I think it just depends on how they're going to go up against um, Airbnb because obviously it's established. Um, but Airbnb, it's a massive market. So I can see this one going all right, definitely. But how, how much the token's going to be for starters? Yeah, that's that's what I'm up to. So And it depends if they stick to their roadmap. That's what it comes down to always is the roadmap. Um, this is the main, you know, this is the main, how this test goes in San Francisco and, you know, are we going, you know, and the other thing is you wait until 2019 really until they start expanding to other, like other cities in the US, so that's what it comes down to. I think it's good, but yeah, I mean, until I know the price of a token too, you can't really say yes or nay because it really comes down to it, but I think it's a good idea, definitely, don't get me wrong, and it could be an interesting ICO to get into. Obviously, guys, if you if you are interested in it, um, jump onto the white list definitely uh, to get your news and everything of it coming up. There's obviously another month to go, so be prepared for it. Obviously, download the white paper and have a good look through it. I really go through it, and obviously, still do your due diligence on the rest of the team. All right, and then that's all I got for you for B token. So I like it. I like it. It's got a good team from what I've seen so far. Um, five hundred million tokens. That's a good supply. If they get up to that or not, it's a different story. So we'll soon see. But it's still a decent supply. Because they obviously you need a lot of those these tokens obviously for something like this too. So it's not. I'm not worried about the supply of it. Uh, the circulating supply and the price. That's the only thing I'm worried about is the price. Depends what the price of the token is. But like I said, well, as it gets closer, we'll see how it goes. So, all right, guys, if you've got my video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, that's all I've got for you today. Have a good day. See ya.